From the Carly B. TV Newsroom, I'm Dr. Carlisha Booz. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office is investigating a robbery that happened last night at a convenience store in West Macon. The robbery happened shortly before 10 at the Discount Grocery Store 2 located on Napier Avenue. According to reports, the masked robber entered the store with a gun and demanded money from the cashier. After receiving an undisclosed amount of cash, he ran away on foot. No one was hurt. The suspect was described as 6 feet and weighed around 100. 180 to 190 pounds. The suspect was also wearing a black colored jumpsuit. A man died after he lost control of his vehicle on I-75 early Sunday morning. 32-year-old Stevie Jones Jr. passed away on scene. According to Bibb deputies, the accident happened around 1.30 a.m. on Interstate 75 southbound near Arkwright Road. Jones was traveling south on I-75 when he lost control of his vehicle and then went off of the roadway. The vehicle went between two guardrails and then struck a signpost. Someone robbed the Family Dollar Store on Rocky Creek Road in Macon Saturday evening. Bibb deputies say a male suspect entered the store wearing a mask and walked around the store until several customers left. Then he showed his gun and demanded money from the cashier. Once he got some cash, he ran away. Thankfully, no one was hurt. An elderly woman in Polk County died after her house exploded Saturday morning. The explosion blew the house off its foundation and left debris hanging from trees. The cause of the explosion is still being investigated by the Polk County Sheriff's Office and the state fire marshal. The identity of the woman has not been released, but officials say the woman is in her 60s. Congratulations to Warner Robins High School for taking home a big win. The Demons defeated Calhoun 38-14 and won the 5A state championship. It's the season of giving and Vineville Academy of the Arts is doing just that. The Pandas participated in the Salvation Army's annual canned food drive. They collected over 500 cans. The goal was 350. First graders alone donated almost 200 cans. The school collected cans from November 8th through December 3rd. Making Headspace hosted its last mental health pop-up gym of 2021 over the weekend. The event was held at East Macon Park Community Center. Participants enjoyed the Zen Tea Garden, yoga, and so much more. For more news on the go, visit CarlyBTV.com.